morning. Happy Friday. It is July 26th and whew, what a week. I have, y'all, I have, I have done it. I have switched over to iOS. This is my first, I, I must, I was Samsung diehard and then yesterday while I was trying to do my card reading for y'all, the trying to get my video from my um, Samsung Galaxy to my Mac was so struggle. I was struggling. I was struggling so hard. So I decided that's it. That's it. I need to just go for it and switch over to an iPhone. And that of course meant no Samsung watch. What in the world am I going to do without my watch? Well, yeah. So this will be day one on my on my new devices. I will let you know how it goes. I am um, I was just ride or die with Samsung. I mean, family, y'all know. Um, but yeah, so we will give it a try to see. I will spare you the rest of my drama, but I will, I'll keep you checking in if you're interested. What do you think, right? Is it Samsung? Is it Samsung or is it iOS? Which do you prefer? Or I shouldn't say Samsung, Android. Is it Android or iOS? Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, so for episode four today, um, I am going to be talking a little bit about, um, nonviolent communication. <clears throat> nonviolent communication is actually, you know what? The, I hate it when I do things like this. Let me step off camera for a minute and I might come back. This is adorable. Okay. Now we're going to talk about nonviolent communication. Why am I wearing giraffe ears? Okay. The basis of nonviolent communication is understanding that we were raised or are raised in a world of jackals. Jackals are, um, jackal language is speaking um, negatively, judgmentally, um, aggressively. Um, that's jackal language. And um, the basis of nonviolent communication is to understand that we have the ability to stop talking like a jackal and start talking like giraffe. Giraffe is one of, it has the largest heart of any land animal. And it is always speaking from a point of caring. Now, what does that mean? Sometimes I've, I've worked in customer service my entire life. I've worked in tech support forever. Um, and it amazes me the number of times, and I'm guilty of it too, that people will come to you wanting help, but they'll come to you with anger, right? I mean, we get it. They're, it's the worst day of their life. They're, they've lost all their files. Their computers are, are broken, you know, whatever. They've got a bad hamburger. I mean, any, any, any area where you're working with an individual or another person helping them with a problem, um, you can see this type of mentality. They will come at you with, blah, 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 blah. I want to, I mean, notoriously Karen, right? I want to speak to the manager. Okay. So, what we have to learn through nonviolent communication is that basically we have six emotions and those emotions are the, at the core. Because people get upset when their feelings aren't being met, right? Or when, I'm sorry, when their uh, needs aren't being met. So you have to understand where your needs are and what you need from other people and help them understand what you need. So one of the ways that you can do that is if someone does something that um, brings an emotion, you know, help, uh, it, it brings forth an emotion within you, you have to ask yourself, why am I feeling that emotion? And you respond to that emotion with just three simple things, right? A statement of fact, right? Not, 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 you made me feel stupid. No, that's not, a, that's not, no one can make you feel anything, right? Your feelings are a emotional response based on what you feel the statement means, right? So, <clears throat> a statement of fact, when you did X, when you were late for the meeting, I felt 
How did you feel? Did you feel happy? Did you feel sad? Did you feel disgusted? Did you feel fear, surprise, or anger, right? All other emotions are der derivative of those basic emotions. So how did you feel? When you were late for the, for the meeting, I felt angry, okay? Why did you feel angry, right? I felt angry because it made me late for the rest of my meetings or whatever your reason is, right? Maybe, maybe you had something you wanted to give them, right? That how many times is you're always late for dinner, okay? You, why, are, why are you upset that they're late for dinner? Most of the time when you're upset is out of, you know, sadness, right? It makes me sad that you're late for dinner because I worked really hard on this and I wanted you to appreciate it. When you approach someone with that, with giraffe, right? When you approach them with giraffe, you're gonna get a much better response because you're, the response that we're looking for when we say that is, I, I did not mean to make you, I did not mean to be late. I was not late intentionally. Or if they were late intentionally, I, did they know that those feelings were impacting you that way? You know, that's the conversation you have to have. The third part of your statement needs to be a request, right? The first part of your statement was, when you're late for dinner, I feel sad. I would really appreciate it if you're going to be late for dinner in the future that you let me know. That's it. So it is your statement of fact, how you feel, and a, and a request. Once you lay that out, then the dialogue can really begin. There's going to be times when you're going to be responded with jackal. It's That's what these are for, right? Take a step back. Listen. Really digest what's being said. And then respond. So that's just a really quick overview of what I, I feel nonviolent communication is. Some years ago, um, I was with a group. And the leader of that group um, gave me the book, Nonviolent Communication. And it, I'll put all the information about it in the, uh, in the description. Um, but it has really helped me. It has really changed the way that I think. I'm not that way all the time, right? The jackal comes out. We've been trained for decades, millennia, to be, you know, who's right, who's wrong. You know, because if you're right, you get rewarded. If you're wrong, you get punished. We need to get that out, right? Everybody needs to have their needs met, and that's really what it's all about. So tell me what you think of nonviolent communication. Do you use it? Have you heard of it? All of those sorts of things. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Yes, I'm late. You know that. Um, we are going to do a card pull today. Um, I was going to switch over to the other deck, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and keep this one for this time. Um, we'll switch over to the other one next time. So we're going to pull a card. And I'm going to hold my card up. And the card is South. Yes, the card is South. I'm really struggling with this new watch, y'all. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. It looks like it's still recording. Hopefully, I didn't talk to myself. That, well, I mean, I'm talking to myself anyway. But you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, the card is South. So I'm going to hold it up for you. Hopefully you can get a look at it. I'll see if that works in the editing. Um, our keywords for the South is passion, forgiveness, and will. So what we really want to pull on with these cards is that fiery energy, right? The South represents warmth and fire and um, those passion areas. Um, Passion doesn't necessarily mean romantic passion. Passion can be um, a passion for a hobby or a passion for, you know, a food. Maybe you're a foodie. Maybe you're making videos. Maybe you're a vlogger. All of those things. Um, you want to pull on that energy of passion today. Um, we also have the next key word of forgiveness. Whew, forgiveness is tough. Um, for a long time, I was of the feeling that you don't really have to forgive someone to move forward with your life. Um, and I was confusing forgiveness with the 
act of just letting go, right? And for some reason I felt like, well, if I forgive you, that means I have to let you back in my life. And you don't, right? Forgiveness is more for you. It's more for yourself, right? You're really forgiving yourself for being involved in that situation or, you know, you don't want to be repeating self-deprecating behavior, that kind of thing. So forgiveness is really important for you. Um, there's always the ability to say, yes, I forgive you, but I cannot forget what you did, right? And sometimes people see that and they'll say, oh, it's emotional blackmail. No, you're protecting yourself. There's nothing wrong with protecting yourself. And the final one is will. Now, will can be, mm, will a lot of times, I think people don't, think really about what the full word is. Will is like manifesting, right? So if you manifest something, if you're willing it into action. So today you want to spend your day looking to find ways to bring to fruition those things you need. Bring into fruition the passion. Bring into your life forgiveness. You know, try to spend some time developing those skills because they will be really important to you. So that's the reading for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I didn't even say it. It is, of course, from the River Witch Oracle, which is available on my website. I have spent this entire video with dry for years. I hope you find it, found it mildly amusing, um, if, if not informative. Um, so if you have any questions, if you'd like to leave me a chat, um, please do that. I'm loving the long responses. I had someone reply, go, oh, I'm a writer. It's fine. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you think. Tell me about giraffe. Tell me about jackals. Um, tell me about uh, the card. How did it hit you today? Um, with that being said, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a glorious Friday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.